What's up you guys, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing my drum roll, uh, prison skincare routine. Now, this is the routine that I did while I was serving time in prison. There were different variations of this routine that I'm about to show you. For those of you that don't know, I have served time in prison on a couple of occasions. I'm a recovering drug addict with over eight years of sobriety. I've been out of prison for six and I've been off of parole for like two and change. If this is the first video you are watching of me, please go down to the description box and watch other videos so that you can just get a backstory on who I am. I am in no way making light of going to prison. I'm only doing this video because so many of you guys requested it and it's fun and sometimes I do fun entertaining videos and yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing in the morning, you would wash your face. Now, um, in the street, we have all different kinds of face wash. I use the Purity Cleanser or CeraVe from the drugstore. I love those, those are my favorite. And then I will normally use an exfoliator and we'll get there. But when you're in jail or prison, there are two different things. And I'll link that video where I explain them in the description box down below. It's kind of old. All my older videos are so embarrassing to me. But all you would have was water. So, where's my hair tie? you would have hair ties too. But they wouldn't be like, see how this hair tie is like kind of thick? They wouldn't look like that. They were very thin hair ties. So girls that had thicker hair really struggled. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face. Now I did just wash my hands before I sat down. Relax. I, I will be touching my face throughout this video. It's cold, oh my God, it's cold. Reminds me of jail. So you really just, all you have is all you have is water and you really just want to make sure that your eyes are, you know, not crusty. And we would have washcloths like this in prison. Everyone gets a towel and a washcloth. Do you get more than one? Do you get more than one towel? No. Yeah, yeah, you just, you just get one towel, if I remember correctly. It's really important that your skin is very, very dry. And I'm gonna show you the first technique for exfoliating your skin. So you are able to have bar soap in prison and obviously because you need to wash your body, but I would wash my face with this only once a day. Um, but if I'm exfoliating, I would just use water just to start with. And once my face is very, very dry, like has to be super, super dry. I haven't exfoliated for a few days just so I could show you guys this. Um, you take a toothbrush and you use circular motions on your face. Now, if your face is super dry and jails and prisons have really hard water, like I can already see some, you guys are not gonna be able to see. I can see some, some dry skin flaking off of my face. Now, this looks insane, but it, it works and your skin feels so smooth after this. So um, as crazy as this looks, it really did work. I remember the first girl that showed me this. I must have looked like a crusty mess. And she's like, girl, your skin is so dry. Come here. And we would get free toothbrushes. They were very small. They were white toothbrushes from, or like cream color from the state. They're called issuance. So like issuance would be a roll of toilet paper, a tiny little thing of bar soap, which can be made into so many things. Y'all don't even want to know. And a toothbrush and a little thing of glue. I mean toothpaste. And that would be your issuance. So my skin feels pretty soft. And I have showed you guys this technique before, but I'm just gonna show you just really quickly to throw it in here. If I was in county jail and I had time to do the whole routine, I would also work on my eyebrows before I put anything else on my face. The way that we would do eyebrows is with string. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Y'all can see that, right? Um, so we would use string and we would thread our eyebrows and it works so good. So I would definitely touch up my eyebrows in the morning and just come underneath and over the top and do whatever you gotta do to get any hair off of your face. Um, so yeah, 
I used to be so good at this that people would actually pay me to do their eyebrows. Not only would they pay me to do them, but my hands would be so cut open because I would be threading eyebrows for so long. So never let people know that you have a talent because if they know, then yes, you can make some money, but my hands were cut open and bleeding. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a face scrub. Zoom you guys out a little bit. So how do we make a face scrub? With coffee with coffee grounds. Now, I was on the Ulta website and I actually saw a coffee scrub the other day and I thought, oh, what? We did this in jail, <laughs> prison. I'm just gonna use this toothbrush since no one else is gonna use it since I just rubbed my face all over it. So with just a little bit of water, that looks disgusting, um, and it's probably too much water, so let me get more coffee grounds in here. You want coffee grounds that are really coarse so that when you do apply it to your face and you look crazy for a second, um, you can really kind of, you know, scrub off that stuff. Uh, sugar can also be used as an exfoliant. You do what you gotta do, man. You do what you gotta do. So um, I know a lot of people would apply a little bit of melted bar soap into their exfoliant. Super easy to do, you just take a few slivers of bar soap and you put it in here. I'm not gonna break this apart right now because I am gonna use it for something else, um, prison related, but you know, for the point of the video, this will still work to make my point here, um, but a lot of people would put all different kinds of things, coffee, sugar, bar soap, a little bit of lotion so that your skin isn't super, super dry, but I always just did like a really simple coffee, little bit of soap and water and use that to scrub my face. And I know you guys are like, oh my God, you're putting coffee on your face. I have really sensitive skin and I've never broken out from this. So that is good news, but it's happening. It's about to happen. I would just use my hands. I'm yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to use a brush. And I would just do it circular motions. I'm sorry, but I've just never looked more beautiful than I look right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is kind of crazy, but it's just what we did, man. To be fair, I didn't see a ton of people doing a coffee scrub. A lot of people just didn't care if their skin was dry or not, but it really did bother me um, because I'm super, super dry. So, I'm gonna go wet my washcloth and take this off of my face. I'll be right back. So now I have half of the washcloth wet and half of the washcloth dry. Zoom in. Now, so what I would do is I would just wipe it off just like that and rinse off the coffee in the sink. I don't have a mirror, so I'm having to use the viewfinder. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so now that that is off of my face, I take the dry side and just dry my face. <laughs> and that is our coffee scrub. I'm not gonna lie, my face feels really soft. Now I would never do this unless it was for you guys, but man, my skin feels really soft. So then it is not over. This train wreck is not over, ladies and gentlemen. No, it is not. So we would then put lotion on our face. Now you're not gonna get a vino lotion in prison. You're gonna get something called lotion. <laughs> and it is in a tiny bottle that kind of looks like this baby powder container, but a little bit smaller and kind of round. And it just says lotion on it. Or you could get cocoa butter, which I love cocoa butter, which that was also very helpful when I was pregnant in prison as well. So I would use cocoa butter to lotion my body with, but cocoa butter does kind of make me break out. So I was just very lucky that the prison lotion didn't make my skin break out. So we would go in with our moisturizer, which is the lotion. Now, um, my skin actually feels so freaking soft right now. That's crazy. Um, so once the lotion kind of sinks into my skin, I'm going to go in with something else because I didn't like how shiny my face was all the time. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes for the lotion to kind of just, you know, absorb into my skin. It has been a couple of minutes 
Now I only did this in like county jail if I was going out to the hallway and I was gonna see some guys, y'all know what I mean? Um, I hated how shiny and red my face was. Um, and I would use baby powder when I was in Arkansas prison because we were working in the South on something called Field Squad or Chain Gang, which is something that I did. Now, when I was in Chain Gang, and I'll link that video down below, it was, I was not on a chain, but the work was the same. So, mm-hmm, that was, that was fun. <laughs> Don't break the law, okay? Okay, especially not in the South because they're not playing games. But I would just take a little bit of powder and I would just put it right in my T-zone where I get oily. And I swear to you, this just kept me dry throughout the day. And I know it sounds confusing that I have dry skin, but I have, I guess technically I have combination skin because my T-zone gets kind of oily, which I think is pretty common, but I would just put that all in my T-zone so that it could reduce a little bit of the redness and a little bit of the oil. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we do skincare in prison. People in prison are so clever and they're so innovative and they can do so much with so little. And I think I've proved that a couple of times on my channel as far as recipes or prison makeup or now prison skincare. Just because they made a mistake and they're behind bars does not mean that they're dumb, doesn't mean they're not creative, doesn't mean they're not good people, it doesn't mean they're not talented. I've seen some of the most talented people behind bars and quite often they're forgot about. And I just want to throw in here that half of all incarcerated people are serving time on a non-violent drug offense. A lot of people are in there because trauma led to a drug addiction. So I want to encourage all of you to be a little bit more understanding and a little bit more kind when topics of prison reform come up. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay sober. Please do not break the law. You can get a coffee scrub at Ulta and I'll see you guys in my next one.